Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're doing a super fun reindeer ornament. This tutorial was inspired by Jody in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, because she won a prize in the 10 day bracelet making challenge, and her prize was a custom tutorial. So, this is for Jody, and uh, you can make the reindeer as an ornament, or I just strung it around my neck as a little Christmassy necklace. So what you're going to need for the reindeer ornament are your tools. This is optional to use the jig. This is the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. You can also simply trace the template as well. I have 18 gauge green wire for the holly. You can also use 20 gauge wire for that. I have beads. I have an 8 millimeter miracle bead for the nose and some 4 millimeter miracle beads for the holly. And the ornament itself is going to be made with 18 gauge copper wire. And you'll need a ruler as well. And you can print out the template if you need to trace it. So I'll start with a 16 inch piece of the 18 gauge wire. And I'm going to put my uh, 8 millimeter bead in the middle of the wire, hold the ends together, and just put it right to the middle and bend the two ends up. Hold it snugly so it, it has a nice tight bend there. You want to hold the bead in place. So like hold it very snugly and just push it out like this. Now from here you can either just eyeball it and trace the template or if you have the jig go ahead and get the jig and hold this just below these two pegs here and then bring it up and wind it around the eye. So we're going to wind it around one eye here and then around this eye here. So going around the outside to the inside. Now if you want the eyes to be bigger, a tip for that is just move kind of beyond the jig and then just kind of like backtrack it a bit and that will actually, you know, make them a little bit bigger. So that's good. And you're going to bring it up here and do the shape of the ear. So around down here and around and then that way and then up. So that's your first one and the same thing here. If you want to bring it in a little bit and then pull it back a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. You can fix the shape of that after and then we're going to bring it down here and then around here and then up. So this is going to be your starting point for the reindeer and then you can remove it off the jig and then if you have to fix it up a little bit you can get your round pliers and you can just kind of fix these. You can make them a little bit bigger if you want. Like this is where you can do your adjusting to make the eyes the size and the roundness that you want. So this one here, in theory you could even like use beads for the eyes as well. Sometimes I do like a little double eye as well. So here's your basic shape for the reindeer and then what you're going to need from there is you're going to need another piece of wire. So cut another piece of the 18 gauge wire that's about 8 inches long and then around the in the middle you want to make a bit of a curve to form the head of the reindeer. So you're just going to do a little bit of a curve, you know, however wide you want it to be. You can just play around with it. And then you're going to bring it in here to see about what position you want it to be. And then you'll start on one side and bring one edge up, just kind of straight up like that. And then we'll just see how wide. It depends on how you like the look of it. If you want it a little wider, or a little thinner, you can just adjust this how you want. So if we put it about there, I'm going to hold that in place and then we're going to bend this wire up. So now you have sort of the starting point of this is going to be the other antler and the top of the head. So that's going to be placed in here and then we need another wire to wind around. So I have a six inch piece of the 18 gauge wire here and I'm just basically holding these two pieces beside each other and we're going to take this wire and hold it like just make sure there's at least three four inches here 
and then you're going to take this wire and wind it around about three times. So one, two, three, and then what you want to do here is you're actually going to separate these wires. So we're going to push that one out to the right. And then this one, we're going to wind it around a couple more times here. This way it won't like flip back and forth. So it just secures it a little more. So we're going to wind it around here, like one, two. And you can even, you know, do more than two if you want. And then from there, we're just going to clip that end here. And if you need to, you can just pinch it in place so it's not like really pokey in there. So just give it a little pinch. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to get our six inch piece of wire, adjust them again so they're in place. And we're going to take our wire here and we want it sort of opposite of what we did on the other side. So hold it here, say a couple inches from the end. Sometimes it's hard to get like the right position to get your hand in there. So just whatever feels comfortable for you. And then we're going to bring it in here. So go around one, two, and if they start overlapping, you can just like kind of wiggle them around a little bit and then three, around there and then from here you can just kind of adjust it you can if it's flipped a bit you just take this and just kind of twist it a little bit so it's that way and then as we did before we're going to separate them so this one goes to the left towards the middle and we're just going to go ahead this one looks like it's a little bit higher but that you can bring this one down a bit if it's gotten too if that one's too high you can pull it back a bit bring that out and then we're going to wind it around a couple times here so that one and that one so these are going to be like the beginning point of your antennas so it doesn't twist back and forth like that let's just secure it in that corner in there as well so we're just going to secure it in there and then that's going to prevent it from flipping because you uh, otherwise it could flip back and forth so now it's like super secure see this one's kind of flipping a little bit too much so this side i just redid it a little bit and i'm going to pull this edge right around the bottom here just to secure it in place so it won't flip around it's better to always secure it in a couple of places so it won't twist so from here we want to form our spirals and the best way to do this so they're even is just to measure them so we're going to go up here and measure about three inches so we'll just measure that one is three and then this one two you want to measure it about three up from there so the spirals will be the same size and then this one two you can measure that maybe that one's a little less we'll make that like two and a half so we'll make that one about two and a half and then this one here we can make that probably about the same about two and a half and then here too we're just going to measure it to be about two and a half so this just depends on how big you want your spirals to be that's kind of optional and then the way I like to do my spirals I like to take the cone you might have alternate ways to do it so basically what I do is just take this and wind it around here okay so we're just going to wind it around and this one here we're just going to wind it around and then what I do is I actually take it once it's wound around the original uh, one I think I cut these wires a little longer they were more like five inches so if you want more of a fuller spiral just cut these wires a little longer so say between three and five inches so we've got that one here and then if you want the other way to do a spiral if you don't like to do it with the cone you can just do it by eye take your round pliers twist this around just like that you start it with a little bit of a round and then I just kind of push it with my finger a little bit to start forming 
the spiral. So you just slowly bring it in. So whatever way you find the easiest to make the spiral, I personally prefer the cone technique, uh, but if you're more comfortable doing it this way, uh, whatever works for you is great. So we're just going to bring it in like that. Perfect. And then we're just going to keep doing our spirals. This one I would do the opposite way. So you have a little bit of variety with your spirals going different directions. And like I said, if you want the spirals to be bigger, just cut your wires a little longer. I wouldn't cut them any longer than five inches because um, then they're going to just be too big. So, but that's a, that's just a matter of personal taste. So whatever you prefer, I'm just bringing them in slowly around like that. And then once you need your spirals a little flattened out, then you can go ahead and get your flat pliers and just adjust them in there. So we're going to go in there and you can like bring them in, make them more open and then we'll just do the other side. So the antlers are done. Now if you have to adjust the ears to make them more sticking up, uh, you know, whatever you need to do to adjust it is great. And now we need to do the holly. So I have a six inch piece of wire. It can be 18 or it can be 20 gauge wire. And you want to hold it about here, just a couple inches from the end. And we're just going to wind it around here. Just loosely is good. We just want to make like, I don't know, six or seven little loops around it just to make the holly, you know, as full as you want. And the copper is nice. It just goes around like really loosely. So once you have a little coil, we're just going to take this and bend it around just sort of round and round to make like a, a kind of a round shape. And then we're going to take the end and just with our round pliers, we're just going to bring it around here. So we just want to finish it off so it's not sharp. And then we're going to cut that end here. Just cut it flush and then you can stick that end here. So there we have our holly and what you want to do is take your four millimeter round beads. These are my favorite miracle beads, but you can use seed beads. You can use whatever you like. And what we want to do is start by holding it in place like here to just choose what side you want to put it on. So I'm just going to hold it in place here and I'm going to wind it around above the ear like that. So we'll just stick the other beads on the wire right like that. And then we need to bend this part uh, just over here. So just kind of center them, put them how you want those beads on there. And then we're going to bring it down just across like over the head here or however you want to attach it is good. You know, play around with it. And I'm just going to bring it around and push it through. This wire is the 18 gauge. It's a little stiff. You could do the holly with 20. It would be easier and uh, not so stiff to bend around. So there you have like the holly on the reindeer, which is super cute. And then to attach the cord, because we don't have a loop that's going back and front, this is the easiest way to attach the cord so it won't slide around. So just hold the ends of the cord together. It's a um, ribbon, it's about 10 inches long, 10, 12 inches long. Do a slip knot. So just take the two ends, bring it around your finger like that, hold it like that, and then stick these ends through. And then you just have like a slip knot here. So we're just going to pull that tight, our slip knot. And then what I do, and I do the same thing with some of our other ornaments. I just take this loop and stick it through here. Okay, just through the head of the reindeer. And then stick this end with the, with the knot through that loop and then you pull it snug like that and then what it does is it holds it nicely nice and snugly and when you hang it it's going to hang the right direction and it won't twist around all like that so there we have our cute little reindeer you can adjust these if you have to and we're all ready for the holidays
And just to compare with the original sample, this one, uh, these ends were a little longer. They were about maybe closer to four or five inches. So if you want bigger spirals, instead of having a three inch of wire there, you would have more like a four or five inches of wire. So this is definitely, you can adjust the sizes of the spirals. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up for my list, I'll put the link up below and I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching. Thank you, Jody, so much for the great inspiration for this tutorial, and we'll see you the next time.